vector field f, which is given by f of x, y is x squared plus y cubed in the ith direction, plus 2 sine x minus y in the jth direction. We want to compute the exterior derivative of the one form associated to f. Let's recall that if we have a vector field f of x, y, which is given by p of x, y in the i-th direction plus q of x, y in the j-th direction, then the one form associated to f is given by omega f, which is just p of x, y, dx plus q of x, y, dy. This allows us to associate to any vector field a one form and similarly to any one form a vector field. So this defines a one form and I can compute the exterior derivative. Recall that that's just given by computing the x partial derivative and then adding a dx and then the y partial derivative and adding a dy. This is exactly what we see when we use implicit differentiation. And now what we have to do is wedge with dx and similarly if we differentiate uh, 2 sine x minus y with respect to x then what we get is 2 cosine x minus y dx and if we differentiate with respect to y because there's a minus here I get 2 cosine x minus y dy and I wedge with dy. Okay, so we now can expand this out, but what we observe is that because of the nilpotence property, namely dx wedge dx is zero and dy wedge dy is zero, this was the nilpotence property of the wedge product. What we see is we get d omega f, that's now just 3y squared dy wedge dx, plus, now in this case, this term will cancel because of the dy wedge dy, and therefore what I have here is just 2 cosine x minus y dx wedge dy, but now to compare dy wedge dx with dx wedge dy, I'm going to use the anti-symmetry property, namely dx wedge dy is minus y wedge dx. That now allows me to write this term as minus 3y squared dx wedge dy, and the final answer is therefore just 2 cosine x minus y minus 3y squared dx wedge dy.